Energy in Iran describes energy and electricity production, consumption, import and export in Iran. Iran has the fourth largest oil reserves and the largest natural gas reserves in the world. Iran is an energy superpower. Topic: History. Iran is in a constant battle to use its energy resources more effectively in the face of subsidization and the need for technological advances in energy exploration and production. Energy wastage in Iran amounts to 6 or 7 billion dollars 2008. The energy consumption in the country is extraordinarily higher than international standards. Iran recycles 28% of its used oil and gas whereas the figure for certain countries stands at 60%. Iran paid 84 billion dollars in subsidies for oil, gas and electricity in 2008. Iran is one of the most energy intensive countries of the world, with per capita energy consumption 15 times that of Japan and 10 times that of European Union. Also due to huge energy subsidies, Iran is one of the most energy inefficient countries of the world, with the energy intensity three times higher than global average and 2.5 times the Middle Eastern average. Half of the country's energy is wasted in domestic sector, 3.4 of which is wasted through single occupancy vehicle use, and two thirds parts of power plants' energy are also wasted. Iran is one of the leading members of OPEC, Organization of Petroleum Exporting Countries, and the Organization of Gas Exporting Countries (GECF). Iran received 47 billion dollars in oil export revenues, which accounts for about 50% of state revenues. Natural gas and oil consumption both account for about half of Iran's domestic energy consumption. With its heavy dependence on oil and gas revenues Iran continues to explore for new sources of natural gas and oil. Recently Iran has focused its energy sector on the exploration of the South Pars offshore natural gas fields in the Persian Gulf. Iran has become self-sufficient in designing, building and operating dams and power plants and it has won a good number of international bids in competition with foreign firms. Energy generation capacity of Iranian thermal power plants reached 173 terawatt hours in 2007 accounting for 17.9% of energy production in the Middle East and African region. Natural gas has been the main energy in Iran in 2007, comprising over 55% of energy needs, while oil and hydroelectricity accounted for 42 and 2% respectively. The region's energy need will increase by 26.8% until 2012. Energy plays an important role in Iranian politics. Robert Baer in his book The Devil We Know, dealing with the new Iranian superpower argues that Iran has attained the status of an energy superpower and is on its way to become a military political superpower. <inaudible> <inaudible> Overview Iran plans to create an energy-saving company in conjunction with the Iranian subsidy reform plan 2014. Topic. Oil Iran has the second largest oil reserves in the world, and the third largest exporter of it. According to 2006 estimates Iran produced about 5% of total global crude oil production. They produced 4.2 million barrels per day cubic meters d of total liquids and 3.8 million of those barrels were crude oil. Iran plans to invest $100 billion during the next four years in different sections of its oil industry 2009. By the end of 2009, Iranian oil R.P. ratio was 89.4 years which is the world's highest. By 2009, Iran had 52 active rigs and 1,853 producing oil wells. Iran possesses abundant fuels from which to generate energy. Since 1913 Iran has been a major oil exporting country. Oil industry output averaged 4 million barrels cubic meters per day in 2005, compared with the peak output of 6 million barrels per day cubic meters d reached in 1974. Following the 1979 revolution, however, the government reduced daily oil production in accordance with an oil conservation policy. Further production declines occurred as a result of damage to oil facilities during the war with Iraq. 
In the early 2000s, industry infrastructure was increasingly inefficient because of technological lags. Few exploratory wells were drilled in 2005. Iranian oil was nationalized in 1953 and thus is owned and operated by the National Iranian Oil Company Iran held 10.3% of the world's total proven oil reserves and that figures out to be about 137.6 billion barrels 2.188 times 1,010 cubic meters of oil reserves at the end of 2009. Oil also is found in northern Iran and in the offshore waters of the Persian Gulf. Nevertheless, in 2005 Iran spent $4 billion on gasoline imports, mainly because of contraband and inefficient domestic use that result from subsidies. Iran is one of the largest gasoline consumers in the world ranking second behind United States in consumption per car. There is a growing recognition that prices must rise faster to curb consumption and ease the burden on the public finances. Cheap energy has encouraged wasteful consumption in Iran, and a brisk business in smuggling petrol into Iraq, Turkey, Pakistan and Afghanistan. Demand has also been supported by rapid increases in car production in recent years. In the absence of imports, the car industry has developed strongly albeit from a low base with output reaching over 1 meter vehicles in fiscal year 2006-07 March 21 to March 20. The growth in consumption of domestically produced oil has been modest, owing to refining constraints. By contrast, fuel imports rose to 180,000 barrels per day cubic meters d in January 2005 from 30,000 barrels per day cubic meters d in 2000, and petrol consumption is estimated to have been around 1,800,000 barrels per day cubic meters d in 2007 before rationing, of which about one-third is imported. These imports are proving expensive, costing the government about $4 billion in the first nine months of 2007-08, according to parliamentary sources. Nearly 40% of refined oil consumed by Iran is imported from India. Iran contains 27 onshore and 13 offshore oil-producing fields, largely concentrated in the southwestern Khuzestan region near the Iraqi border. The Iranian government is heavily reliant on oil revenues and they have heavily subsidized the energy industries, which figures out to be about 12% of Iran's GDP. However, domestic oil consumption has decreased due to the alternative use of natural gas. Economic growth from these resources is uncertain and stunted in Iran due to these subsidies and population growth. Iran has been unable to reach at full production levels due to a combination of sanctions and war plaguing the region. Iran's oil fields have a natural decline rate at 8% for onshore wells and 10% for offshore fields. The Iranian recovery rate is currently approximately 27%, which is well below the world average. Iran needs structural improvements made to coincide with their enhanced oil recovery efforts. <laughs> natural gas. Iran is the world's third producer of natural gas 5.1% of the world's total and 184 BCM, which is primarily used for domestic electricity generation or heat production. It contains an estimated 1,187.3 trillion cubic feet 33,620 cubic kilometers TCF in proven natural gas reserves. In 2005 a large share of Iran's natural gas reserves were believed to remain untapped. About 62% of these reserves are located in non-associated fields. Iranian production of natural gas is expected to increase over the next few years due to continuing discoveries in the North Pars and South Pars regions. Domestic consumption has matched production at 3.6 times 10 to the 12 cu feet, 100 cubic kilometers in the year of 2005. Domestic consumption is expected to go up at about 7% per year for the following decade. The Iranian government has also subsidized natural gas prices along with gasoline prices, and this is expected to sustain this high level of domestic consumption. In lieu of this increasing domestic demand, natural gas exports are expected to decrease in the following years. Iran has the third largest consumption of natural gas in the world after United States and Russia. Iran also has the world's largest growth rate in natural gas consumption.
Topic: Electricity. Iran's domestic consumption and production have steadily grown together since 1984 and it is still heavily reliant on traditional thermal energy sources of electricity, with a small fraction being produced by hydroelectric plants. Consumption has steadily risen and it is expected to rise at about 6% per year for the following decade. Accordingly, the Iranian energy sector must focus its efforts on meeting this continuing demand. Today Iran ranks 19th largest producer and 20th largest consumer of electricity in the world. A research by the Ministry of Energy indicated that between 15,000 to 20,000 megawatts of capacity should be added in Iran in the next 20 years. In recent years Iran has put greater emphasis on participation of domestic and foreign investors in electricity generation sector, with projects underway to add 40,000 megawatt-hours more capacity to the national grid. It is estimated that some 18.5% of electricity generated in Iran are wasted before it reaches consumers due to technical problems. Iran is among the top 10 manufacturers of gas turbines with a capacity of 160 megawatts. Iranian experts of JEMCO a subsidiary of IDRO have succeeded in developing the capacity to produce 1 megawatt generators. Iran has acquired self-sufficiency of over 80% in constructing hydraulic turbines and over 90% in producing gas turbines. Within the next few years, Iran can join the list of countries that produce power plant technology 2009. Iran has achieved the technical expertise to set up hydroelectric, gas and combined cycle power plants. Iran is not only self-sufficient in power plant construction but has also concluded a number of contracts on implementing projects in neighboring states. The exploration efforts for sources of power generation are wide and diverse in Iran. Plans are being made to make oil efficient power plants as well as an emphasis on natural gas production in order to meet their growing electricity demand. Nuclear power and hydroelectric power are not focused on for the time being, but they are part of an overall strategy to meet electricity demands. The electricity sector is also heavily subsidized and mostly state-owned companies control power distribution, transmission and generation. In order to meet the demands of the electricity sector, however, Iran is beginning to look into private investment. A by-law has been passed allowing the Energy Ministry to conclude real or combined real, foreign currency contracts for the purchase of electricity from private companies. Private companies in Iran generated 14,440 megawatts of electricity in 2009. Although some criticize Iran's hydroelectric power plans as potentially dangerous to the environment, most agree that the country's current state of hydroelectric production is much better off than in the past. Iran has displayed a new approach to this sector. After the 1979 Islamic Revolution, the construction of hydroelectric power plants became both a popular private and public venture. Often, construction projects did not meet basic environmental standards, engineering standards, and technical requirements. As a result, many of these dams were destroyed or left in dilapidated conditions. By 2004, the addition of new hydroelectric stations and the streamlining of conventional coal and oil-fired stations increased installed capacity to 33,000 megawatts MW. Of that amount, about 75% was based on natural gas, 18% on oil, and 7% on hydroelectric power. However, in 2004 Iran opened its first wind-powered and geothermal plants, and the first solar thermal plant was to come online in 2009. Iran has recoverable coal reserves of nearly 1.9 bn short tons. The country produces about 1.3 meters short tons of coal annually and consumes about 1.5 meters short tons, making it a small net importer of coal. Demographic trends and intensified industrialization have caused electric power demand to grow by 8% per year. The government's goal of 53,000 megawatts of installed capacity by 2010 is to be reached by bringing online new gas-fired plants financed by independent power producers, including those with foreign investment backing, and by adding hydroelectric and nuclear power generating capacity. It has also been estimated that Iran has the potential to produce at least 6,150 megawatt-hours of electricity by wave power from its coastline on Persian Gulf alone. 
Iran is also experimenting with electricity generation from organic wastes and plans to build power plants using sewage and organic waste of domestic and industrial origin as fuel. Another area in which there is ongoing research is assessment of Iran's tidal power potential. With about 300 clear sunny days a year and an average of 2,200 kilowatt-hour solar radiation per square meter, Iran has a great potential to tap solar energy. Topic: <inaudible> Nuclear energy. Iran plans to generate 23,000 megawatt hours of electricity through nuclear technology by 2025 to meet its increasing demand for energy. The first of four 915 megawatts reactors of Bush Air nuclear power plant, built with help from Russia, came online in August 2010 after numerous delays and Iran's indigenously designed Darkhoven nuclear power plant is scheduled to come online in 2016. Overall, Iran remains a net exporter of electricity and exchanges electrical power with all its land neighbors. While nuclear power in the U.S. costs a little over 10 cents per kilowatt hour, Iran, with domestic uranium enrichment capabilities, high interest rates, low energy output, a single 1,000 watt reactor, low efficiency, extremely slow reactor construction, and no reprocessing, pays around 68 cents per kilowatt hour. This assumes a price of $140 per separative working unit and a $40 per kilogram of uranium. Topic. Energy forecast Topic. Renewable energy In 2010, the Iranian government announced plans to build 2,000 MW of renewable energy capacity between 2010–2015. As of 2010, Iran had 8,500 megawatts of hydroelectric capacity and 130 megawatts of wind energy capacity. As at 2010, private companies had signed contracts to build more than 600 megawatts of biomass systems and 500 megawatts of new wind energy projects. Iran is also working to make renewable energy commercially viable, and the Ministry of Energy is required to buy privately produced renewable energy at world market prices. A feed-in tariff fit for wind and biomass energy around 13 cents per kilowatt hour is helpful. In 2012, Iran allocated 500 million euros from the National Development Fund for renewable energy projects. Also supporting the solar industry is the state-sponsored Renewable Energy Organization of Iran, SUNA, which is attached to the Energy Ministry and enjoys a budget of around 60 million dollars. Topic. Hydro Hydropower makes up 10,000 MW or 14% of Iran's overall energy mix 2015. Iran is able to build its water turbines domestically. Topic. Biofuel In 2016, the Iranian Biofuel Society IBS in collaboration with the Vice Presidency for Science of Technology in Tehran and the suburbs bus company executed the first urban pilot project for the consumption of waste cooking oil biodiesel in Tehran's bus fleet in an attempt to generate public awareness regarding global climate change, wherein they recommend reducing net anthropogenic CO2 emissions to the atmosphere and minimizing anthropogenic disturbances of atmospheric gases by partial replacement of fossil fuels with waste-oriented biofuels. The program was also supported by Small Grant Program, Global Environmental Facility, United Nation Development Program SGP, GEF, UNDP Office in Iran. Solar Iran's unique geographical position means 90% of the country has enough sun to generate solar power 300 days a year. According to Press TV Iran has 520 watts per hour per square meter of solar radiation every day. Other sources give an average of 2,200 kilowatt-hour solar radiation per square meter. Energy generated by solar power reached 53 megawatts in 2005 and 67 megawatts in 2011. Topic: Wind. 
Iran has the potential to generate 20 to 30 gigawatts of wind energy. That is half of the total energy consumption needs of the country. As at 2012 Iran had 163 wind turbines with an installed capacity of 92,470 kilowatt hours. Sardat Industrial Group is a well-known domestic manufacturer in this field. India's Sulzan Energy and Germany's Siemens are also potential providers of wind turbines to Iran. Topic: <laughs> Geothermal Iran has the potential to become the ninth largest geothermal energy producer. According to Global Tectonics Iran is impacted by subduction of the Arabian Plate under the Central Iranian Plate and four thrust faults, two that make the southern Caspian Sea depression and two in the north of Iran, part of the Caucasian Range. Mount Sabalan and Mount Sahand are two quaternary volcanoes in the area. Sabalan is a large stratovolcano consisting of three summits named Sultan 4,811, Harem 4,612 meters, and Kazra 4,573 meters. The stratovolcano is situated on a possible horse trending northeast-southwest and erupted at latest in the Holocene. Caldera collapsing has caused a depression about 400 meters in height and 12 kilometers in diameter. The lava flows consists of trachyandesite, andesite and dacite and pyroclastic deposits. There are nine hot springs with a temperature in the range of 25 to 85 degrees Celsius. https colon slash slash geothermal energyorg slash pdf slash igestandard slash wgc slash 2005 slash 0607 pdf Topic. Statistics Source, CIA Factbook, unless stated otherwise topic. Primal energy demand Gas, 55% 2008 Oil, 42% 2008 Hydro, 2% 2008 Topic: Electricity. Production: 220.3 billion kilowatt hours, 2011 est. Consumption: 182.7 billion kilowatt hours, 2010 est. Exports: 6.707 billion kilowatt hours, 2010 est. Imports: 3.015 billion kilowatt hours, 2010 est. Topic: Electricity production by source. Fossil fuel: 93%, 75% comes from gas generation, 18% from oil. 2006, 86.2% of total installed capacity. 2010 est. Hydro: 7%. 2006, 13.7% of total installed capacity. 2010 est. Nuclear power: 2. 1%. Topic: Oil Production: 3,589,000 barrels d, 570,600 cubic meters d, 2012 est. Consumption: 1,755,000 barrels d, 279,000 cubic meters d, 2008 est. Expected to increase 10% each year since 2006. Exports: 2,377,000 barrels d, 377,900 cubic meters d, 2010 est. Imports: 156,000 barrels d, 24,800 cubic meters d, 2010 est. Proved reserves: 154.6 GBBL, 24.58 times 10 to the 9 cubic meters, based on Iranian claims. The 1st of January 2009 est. Note: As of 2009, one third of Iran's gasoline needs are imported because of insufficient domestic refining capacity, overconsumption, and contraband. Topic: Natural gas. 
Production: 151.8 billion cum 2011 est. Consumption: 144.6 billion cum 2010 est. Exports: 9.05 billion cum 2011 est. Imports: 10.59 billion cum 2011 est. Proved reserves: 33.61 trillion cum the 1st of January 2013 est. Topic: Subsidies. 84 billion dollars for oil, gas, and electricity, 2008. Topic: Environment. CO2 emissions per capita, MT, 624.9 million MT, 2011 est. GDP per unit of energy use, 4. 0 2007 energy use per capita kilogram of oil equivalent 2005 ppp dollar per kilogram of oil equivalent 2352 2007 topic see also economy of iran energy development international rankings of iran Ministry of Energy Iran Oil Mega Projects 2011 Wind Power in Iran The nationalization of the Iran oil industry movement Renewable energy by country